Good morning you guys, it's Karen and I'm here to talk about this little cheeky device here called the Foreo Bear. I was lucky enough to be sent this. Um, as always though, you guys know, I was sent it without any promises of anything. I just said I would try it and see what I thought. Um, you know, I didn't say I would do a video or anything like that, but I had wanted to try one of these microcurrent devices for a while. I wasn't really sure which one was the best. You know, it was on my list to, to research, but I, I knew that I had watched people talking about them and saying that they'd got some good results. So when this one arrived, I was like, oh, okay, great. Where am I gonna use this, you know? And I was like, well, it's my eyes really, isn't it? That's because for me, what I had heard up to that point was that this was good for firming and tightening skin. That's what it was gonna do. It was gonna stimulate the muscles, the muscles would, would tighten up and therefore your face would be firmer. Um, so I thought, well, it's my kind of eye area. How am I gonna do this? So I thought I'm gonna do it like this. I know that you can't use it actually on your eyelids, but I thought, you know, you can use it just sort of under the brow like that so I can go each way because I don't think at the moment, I'm sure you'll correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I've got loose skin anywhere else probably because of my weight if I do ever lose the amount of weight that I want to lose then I would imagine at that point I probably have loose skin here maybe you know more of a defined cheek and maybe looser skin here but at the moment the main place I've got loose skin is on my eyelids so I wasn't sure if it would be the right size but it is it's actually fine you can just go like this on either side so the first thing it tells you to do I had a look at all the instructions is to download an app and you can use the app for the little three minute session it takes to use this it's only three minutes and I did that first off and it is a good way if you want to follow their program of doing it all over your face um, but for me obviously I only want to do my eyes so I was quite happy to just press the button here so you just press it and then that comes on at strength five for me I've been using the maximum strength I started off at one tried it again at two and I was like this is absolutely fine and then you just sort of go like that I won't put it on my eyes just now because you need to put the conducting gel on underneath so I press the button and I just go go like this and I actually when I get to the end sort of pull it up and hold it because I do have some Botox in this bit of my head it's it's definitely running out now and I'm not even sure if there's any left but I don't have any on the outer part so the outer part is really where I would like to tighten up the muscles you know all around this bit here would be the best bit for me to be tightened and so sort of lifted like that. I didn't tell you the price of this today, it's £279. I will ask for a discount code for you, of course. And you can't, it comes in this cute little bag and you get a little charger in here. I haven't even used the charger yet and I've been using this for two weeks, I think. I think I've been using this for two weeks and I haven't needed to charge it at all. And so I just press the button and go between the eyes and then it just sort of does a slow beep and then switches off at the three minutes. The, my my worry with these microcurrent machines was always that I would just, it would take too long and I would get bored with doing it. But so far I haven't. Two weeks doesn't sound like much, but it is a lot for me for an extra device. Bearing in mind, I'm using my LED mask on my face and neck um, and I then put on my conducting serum and do this. But it's, it's just so easy to do sitting, you know, in the living room while I'm, watching tv and it's only three minutes i think if it was much more than three minutes that would put me off so i'll put the demo in of me using it now so you can see how it works it's really really simple and then i'll come back and show you some photos okay the first thing you need to do is use your conducting gel so this is the foreo serum i've got here so i'm just going to put a couple of pumps on my hands and then go over the area that i will be using the device on the way up to the edges. There we go. Just press in that button so it comes on. Oh, um, do you know what? It's run out of battery. Oh no, it's not. There we go. So that's it on. So I'm just running it across my eyes like this and then I bring it up at the end here. So this bit at the end, you can actually see it vibrating and then we can see that. I make sure I lift up here because what I want to work on is the muscle on the outside of my eyebrow here because that has no Botox in. I have Botox just here. So by using this microcurrent device, I will be making the, the Botox that's there wear off. Um, but honestly, it wasn't strong enough anyway. There was barely anything to it. And I've not been counting because I'm filming this. I would normally count how many times I've done it and sort of go one, two, three, four, 
Oh, I can feel that right there in my hair. <laughs> I'm sort of holding it up like that. It just feels like the tiniest little sort of tingle. Like, so there's a point there. I can feel it in my hair up there. I'm just lifting it up at the corner. You can do it like that as well. It's easiest to do it like this. Turn it down so you can see and sort of bleep when it's done. There we go. And it's just switched off. That's it done. So you can see it's really easy to use. It doesn't, I am not feeling anything barely from it at all um i can feel a tiny little bit of electricity kind of here a tiny little tingle you know i'll go along and go oh there was a little tingle but it's that's literally all it is so it's not an uncomfortable feeling it just feels really quite soothing because these are just you know nice cold sort of metal ovals and it feels really nice so no problem with that at all um I meant to say about the evidence, like, you know me, I'm always going to look up what is the evidence, what's the research behind this technology. Even though with microcurrent technology, it just makes sense that it works, doesn't it? Because it's, you know, it's something, it's technology that has been used for many, many years in many different ways. I think probably the same kind of technology as toning belts, you know, that would tone up your, your stomach. So it kind of compresses things, um, tightens the muscles as as if you were exercising and I think it's the same idea with this um, but I was surprised that what I found out when I found out the different things it was being used for I can't find anything in relation to aging but I, it's used in um, things like knee arthritis it's used microcurrent is used for I didn't know that I certainly nothing I've ever been offered and I have very bad arthritis in both of my knees um, and also in wound healing. And that one is really interesting to me because I have to say, I keep on finding that things that are good for wound healing seem to be good for anti-aging. They seem to work good on loose skin, on wrinkles, on fine lines, etc. It's almost like they're synonymous. You know, if it's good for wound healing, I'm gonna give it a try. Like I said, with the silicone pads that I'm looking into um, and that are kind of popular at the moment, but also the same with this. It's really good and has been used for, for years on wound healing. Um, and so I, I figured it would be good for anti-aging. So I'll put the photos in so that you can see the before and after. I did put some photos in on my previous video about my hooded eyes. And so you will have seen those, but I could still see that there was a slight slight difference in where my eye was looking in the second picture and oh my goodness my husband and I yesterday were trying everything to make sure I got so many different before pictures and then so many different after pictures so that I could find two where I was at the exact you know my head was at the same angle my eyes were at the same angle and when I say we were trying we had my husband was like right put, why don't you put your chin on the ironing board <laughs> so I did that and then I was like no but now I can't see and so he was coming over and trying to take the photos and then I was trying to put my head on books because it wasn't, my goodness, we tried everything. So hopefully these pictures are more, I'm looking at the exact same angle. But as I said in that last video, what I have found is that this, my eyes feel tighter after using this, but I couldn't necessarily see, you know, I was looking in the mirror thinking, I don't see much difference in my hooded eyes, but I can feel a difference, you know, my eyes feel tighter. And so I imagine there will be a bit of a cumulative effect. I don't know whether, what the effect will be now, two weeks after I think it will maybe take another few weeks before the muscles come strong become strong enough to actually see you know any major difference and also with me like I said I do have that Botox that needs to be really worn off so I need to probably come back and talk to you about this again in say another three to four weeks and see if there's any kind of permanent change if you like um, I think if you stopped using this then the effect would go away that's what I've heard from a lot of people using the microcurrent devices that once they stop using it they notice a difference within a couple of weeks. So I think this is something you need to continue to use. Um, but yeah, like I said, I feel like my eyelids feel tighter. And in those those photos, I, I noticed a difference. You know, I could see that they there is a slight lift, if you like, um, before and after. The next pictures are the before and after. So the before taken last night and then the after taken this morning so that you can see, is there any difference overnight? And hopefully you can see that there is still a little bit of difference. It is only slight, but I think any slight difference overnight is really impressive actually. You know, with, with not having surgery, with using something like a small device like this, I think that that is really pretty impressive. So I'm really pleased with it. And I think that that shows that 
if you continue to use it, you'll get, you know, the, the results should get better and better and better. I don't know how drastic they would end up being. Um, I haven't, this doesn't seem to be many people using it for hooded eyes for some reason. Um, but for me, I'm pretty pleased and I'm going to continue to use this. Like I said, I think it will be best if I come back to you in in about three to four weeks and give you an update then and do some look at the before photos that I've done at the beginning and then compare them with the after photos after, say, six weeks of use. That's everything to tell you about this, really. Let me know if you would like a comparison of this with the new face. Um, I think the big... It'd be interesting to see what the big new face one was like, but it's particularly because I'm using it in the eye area. I would need to try the eye attachment, I think, because I've got a feeling that the new face will be bigger than this. This is quite small, although this isn't actually the mini. I think you can get a smaller one than this. You can actually get a smaller one for 179. So this is 279 um, and the smaller one is 179. So 100 pound difference. Um, that may be enough if you just want to use it in the eye area. I would say I haven't tried that one, but it's, it looks like it's about two thirds of the size of this. This one's quite small though, you can see. It's kind of palm of the hand size. Um, so yeah, that's everything to tell you about this. I hope that that was interesting to you and useful to you. Let me know, I would love to hear from you guys. This is one of those videos where I don't have a huge amount of experience. You know, this is my first impressions review of this. This isn't my final review of this. This isn't my final thoughts, but this is me just starting using these kind of devices. But I know that a lot of you have been using similar type devices so I'd love to hear from you what sort of permanent results you've had do you use it every day how long does it take if you're using the new face you know have you if any of you have tried two devices let us know what you think is the best in the comments below um so yeah that's everything I'll list all of my makeup etc in the comments in the description and I'll speak to you again soon